Uh, here we are with the HEC wildfire again, and you can see that we've got the standard sort of uh, HEC sense interface here on this phone. Now, of course, you can alter that, so this one here is completely different. But all I've done is go in through the scenes interface that HEC have uh, introduced on uh, all their, their HEC handsets with uh, the sense interface on Android. Um, we can choose. Uh, between HTC, social, work, play or travel or you can create your own and save it. Um, so I've got work mode on here so if I choose work and press save it's saying hey you've made some changes to this one do you want to save them because you're going to lose them? I'm going to say no. So this is my sort of HTC interface and this is the work interface um, or scene as HTC call it. So we've got things like um, the calendar appointments there. I've got my email here. That could be my work email. You can see there's a nice animated uh, little um, icon there at the top. We've got my stocks and shares because, yeah, I need to know how the Dow Jones is doing. I'll buy some stocks and shares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my calendar there so I can see whether I've got any appointments in a more sort of uh, in a monthly view. I've got my world clock. Um, here on the right hand side, I can turn my Wi Fi on and off. I've got the news coming up, and if I want to add any more widgets, uh, it's not a problem. I can do that, but I'll just show you. I'm just going to switch back to um, sort of play mode now. So if I choose play, let's say I've done at work and I'm on the weekend now. This is play. Uh, that clock is a. You can customize that. Uh, here we've got um, my albums, my album views, so I can see the pictures I've taken. Uh, we can go into friend stream so I can see what's happening on Twitter, on Flickr, on Facebook I can scroll up and down uh, here so I can find out what everybody's up to, it shows little previews uh, the friend stream um, application as well shows you what links people have posted what pictures they've recently uploaded, whether it be through Flickr or Facebook, whatever um, we can see the status updates here as well, we can go into the settings we can have a look at the um, updates, um, which system is shown within the updates. So if you don't want Facebook updates on there and you don't want Flickr updates on there, you can turn them off if you just want tweets or you just want Facebook. It's uh, totally customizable. This interface here, the HTC Sense interface, as you may have known through many of our previous videos, this can be totally adjusted. So if I press menu, I press wallpaper, I can change the home screen background I can change the lock screen background so that when it's locked um, there's uh, a picture shown on the, um, the screen so if I go into lock screen I can choose from a gallery if I want or I can choose some of my own pictures if I wish um, and I can have that on the backdrop I can let's do it for the this because this background is a bit uh, interesting isn't it so let's choose gallery let's use camera shots let's choose this picture of a rabbit and then let's say I, I don't want all of that so I'm just going to adjust this a bit and just say that looks nice let's have that press save on there it's saving that picture and that is going to be shown on the backdrop of your HTC Sense interface and it's going to give you a sort of a perspective on it as well so when you're sw uh, swishing to the right and to the left because you have to imagine you've got pages to the right and to the left of this one screen and you're just basically moving like that you can see that the background does move slightly not too much but it gives you a sort of a, a feel of movement and a perspective you can also press home when you're on the home tab and it'll let you quickly choose one of the tabs so if I press home twice um, that you've got available and of course here's a tab here that I haven't used now what I can do is go down here I can say right I want the app sharing feature on my main screen press and hold it and you can drag it anywhere on here you can do another thing like you can press and hold on there you can choose between a widget an app a shortcut or a folder let's just um, go back home and of course this being the new version of HTC Sense you can press and hold choose widget now if you think well I like those widgets but I want more widgets you can now press get more widgets and it will go online through a wonderful GPRS connection so this isn't going to be the fastest so I'll just try and show you on the other phone let's just press and hold on this one let's see what wins is it the 3UK 
I don't know, GPRS is one. So I can choose more widgets to download. I can tip calculator or a, a dice. That will download it to the phone and you can use that straight away. Right now I'm going to choose um, the FM radio widget, which you can choose that one or you can choose that one. So I'm going to choose that one. I think great. And you plug in your uh, headset like I showed you yesterday and that will show you a little. Um, little widget of what you're listening to so you can quickly swish between these and you can listen to your radio now I've downloaded an application on this phone uh, which uh, sorry actually I've downloaded an application on this phone which I like now it's called Trapster and it detects my uh, whether I'm going through speed traps now I've sent this using the app sharing feature which I showed you yesterday you just press app sharing you press the application you want to share you can sh share it through, if I can get my teeth in, you can share it through uh, Friendstream, so that's through Twitter or Facebook or whatever. You can send it through Google Mail, if you've got Google Mail. You can send it through normal email, pop three mail, whatever it may be. Uh, you can send it through a text message, which I've done, or through Twitter. So if I press uh, hit Twitter, which is HTC Peep, which is their, uh, their way of uh, contacting Twitter. Now, I've not set it up as yet. But I have sent it through a text message. Now, if I get the other phone, let's just show you the text message. It shows here on the other phone, you have two new messages. So I'm going to press that. I'm going to just hide the number that it's come from. Because I've had that in the past where people have uh, seen the number that has shown on the phone. And they've called me very late at night, very drunk. I said, all right, Gears. So anyway, thank you for that. Let me just hide this with a... A secure piece of paper. Uh, here we go. So we've got. It says here, I've been using Trapster, and I think you may like it. I know this is difficult for you to read. Um, check it out from uh, the Android Market on your phone. So you just press that, and it will load up the Android Market and go to the um, application in question. Obviously, here I've got no network access thanks to. Uh, me basically being in a basement at the moment but what should happen is that it will load up the Android market I'm just going to try doing it on the other phone and it should show this so this is what I'm going to get when I get a text message from my friend who is also using uh, a H uh, an Android phone I'm using an Android phone my friend's using an Android phone it doesn't have to be HDC it could be Sony Ericsson it could be anything it doesn't really matter uh, I'm using the app sharing feature on a, a HEC um, Wildfire and I'm sending it to my friend and they just click on the link whether it be through email, text or whatever and this pops up and you go oh yeah Trapster that's what my mate recommended look at that oh, it shows you all the speed cameras so when I'm doing 90 miles an hour in the 70 zone I can slow down at the speed camera. excellent not that anybody should do that obviously so that's um, great way to share your applications that you like because obviously there's thousands many many thousands I think there's about 60 or 70 thousand applications in the Android market at the moment and getting to the good ones can be tricky at times so being able to share it in that way is really cool so you can see some of the applications I've installed BBC News and that Trapster we've got a calculator nice big buttoned calculator here so we can add up the weekly shop and find out how much money we haven't got uh, calendar function so I can see what events I've got coming up soon um, we've got the call history camcorder the camera is really quite cool I'll just show you that quickly it's moaning about the uh, SD card so I'll just show you this on the other phone uh, as I mentioned in a previous video um, the reason we've got two or three of these phones is because we're going to uh, review them by giving them out to uh, other people who've never used an Android phone before uh, and are not familiar with it because these phones are really designed to get in on the ground floor they're they're cheaper um, okay you've got a QVGA screen it's not quite got the specs of the HDC Desire like you know you haven't got your 1 gigahertz processor you haven't got your 8 megapixel camera but you've still got multi-touch you've still got GPS you've still got Wi-Fi you've still got Bluetooth you've still got all the other cool functionality that you'd expect from a high-end phone except okay you have to have a slightly lower resolution screen and stuff but it works very well indeed so here's a camera and we can do things like I can focus on certain areas of the picture here it's too close to the desk but even just like that far away from the desk it will take quite a good photo we can turn the flash on off 
or back onto auto we can zoom in and out here we've got um, straight into the gallery application there on the lower right we can go back into pictures we can drag this out from the left hand side we can choose between video photo we can adjust the brightness we can adjust the contrast saturation sharpness all sorts of other geeky bits we can do polarized negative sepia grayscale we can adjust the quality of the picture whether it's geotagging whether it's using uh, flicker adjustment autofocus which it does by default loads of different things can be adjusted and I'll show you some of the uh, example pictures that we've taken with the camera on coolsmartphone.com very soon indeed so if we go through some of the other applications that are available on this phone uh, as default straight out of the box so we've got the camera um, we can, like you see, you can see I'm pressing this to get into the uh, applications down here. But of course, you can drag any of these onto the HDC Sense interface and have them on the main screen, so you don't have to keep popping down into this. Google Mail, FM Radio showed you that yesterday. The flashlight showed you that too. Um, Mail, Pop3 email, Maps, Google Maps, which of course is there as default. Um, that will let you do Street View stuff. You can um, use the phone and move it around. So if I do a search here using that search function, let's just uh, hide my location. If I type in London, all right. So we're searching for London now. There's London. We can zoom into London. We can press menu. We can choose layers. We can choose traf uh, satellite rather. We can zoom in a bit more. Just see how quickly this works. We can do other th things like we can join latitude so you can see where your friends are. Uh, we can uh, have a look at starred items. We've got the labs functionality. So we can add in a terrain layer. We can add in categories like restaurants. We can add in traffic, bubble buttons, measure. There's loads of extra bits that are in the labs at the moment. So here's London. And of course, if I press on that address, that little pinpoint, it's going to load up the address, and we should be able to go into Street View. Click on that. So I like that. There's Bushy Park. Let's have a look on Street View. Of course, the Google Car has now gone everywhere in the UK, so you'll be able to do this with your own house. We can. Uh, of course, rotate the screen around to the widescreen um, landscape setting. Um, we haven't got multi-touch on this one by the looks of it, but it, it is on the uh, browser. But we can... Let's just zoom out a bit. Okay, that's not bad for a 500 megahertz processor. That is not bad at all. We can press menu. I can go... Oops. <laughs> See, people say, why don't you rehearse your uh, demos? I say, because I like the mistakes. They make it feel like fun. Anyway, let's go in menu, compass mode. Now look at that. It's a bit hard to see. But, as we move around with the phone, if we go north, you see that? It's going to, well it should do, but it looks like the, there you go, if I look at the ground, if I look up at the ceiling, so that will let you actually stand outside your house, you can put Google Street View on, put in your own location, or get GPS to find it for you, and then put the compass mode on and look at your house as it was when the Google car went past, kind of weird. Other applications that we've got on this phone are, if we can get it to go back, oh, that's interesting, it's going to be pear shaped, we'll come back to that one. Oh, there you go, it's woke up now. So, 
I'm going to use this one because it's the only one with a connection at the moment. Uh, Google Maps, the Android market, where it gives you access into thousands of applications. PDF Viewer, which will let you watch, uh, read PDFs. Uh, Quick Office, which will let you uh, read any Outlook um, Office um, files. We've got um, Stocks and Shares, a Tita game, which of course is that highly annoying but very addictive game. It uses the um, sensors in the phone. So you can move your ball about like that, and then you've got to get it into the green hole. Um, transfer data, press that, transfer data. You can import contacts and calendar events from your old phones, so that's pretty cool. And that's using Bluetooth, so HDC have put that in so that you can move on to your new HDC wildfire very easily indeed. We've got the weather, voice recorder, videos we can watch, and YouTube access with Google Talk too. But of course... You can add your own applications, it's brilliant. You can adjust this, I don't like that clock, put it in the bin, press and hold on here, have a widget, I want to have a clock, and I've got a choice of clocks I can choose from, that one, 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 and there'll be more widgets available from HTC, you can download them to the phone, put in the location, you can choose via GPS, or you can choose a specific location if you want. So that is part two of our review and the HTC wildfire.